What do y'all? This is your girl, Sanjay Craziness, and I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another Word on the Street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share my video. So, y'all, I got a quick, quick, quick story time, okay? It's going to be real quick. <laughs> but anyways, I was riding in the car, going to pick up my husband. I had the radio on. It was playing the oldies but goodies. Yes, I'm an old school soul. So, yeah, get with it. <laughs> and um, who can I run to came on. I was like, oh, escape on the block, on the scene with the gangster lean. And then the part where they be like, ah, you know, the beat dropping stuff. I was like, wait a minute. Them not the same girls I've heard. That's not Latasha. You know, as I stand here, you know, I, I didn't. So I had the Shazam. This is Shazam is an app where you could um, find out who the artist and the song is. And I was like, okay, Shazam. It. And then it came up with the jones girls so i was like the jones so wait a minute so basically they just did a cover of the original song because the same harmony same melody same lyrics i'm like wait a minute jermaine wait a minute so yes i found out something new today because i thought who can i run to is just escape but you know everything is recycled and refurbished okay but just packaged in a different way but i'm here for both versions okay i like the both versions but that was my quick little story time. Tell me something. Tell me something good. Mm. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me that you like it. Yeah. Okay, but um, moving right along. <laughs> you know I'll be in my little sing-alongs, y'all. That's our thing now, little sing-alongs. But, um, yeah, so Mr. Carlos King and his sidekick, whatever, Martel Holt with that tight-ass um suit he had on he just wanted to show off his muscles like we get it you work out yeah and then we had carlos king with his little burberry little silk shirt on like he about to go on the beach or somewhere they went on <laughs> v103 the big tigger morning show and it got brought up of course it was either gonna be by shamia or um tigger about this whole um thing going on with between him and candy now we're going to listen to his version because he finally spoke. Well, he really didn't even say too much on it. But this is what the brother had to say. And then we're going to come back. All right, all right. But you left off on oh! somebody who you might not be having the greatest relationship with right now. Oh, who is that? Um, somebody who might have asserted that their story was taken by you. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, there's Make a story plain. out there with you and Candy don't get along because... I do get along with her. Okay. Listen, I think at the end of the day, I will say this. <clears throat> she is somebody who I have always been a fan of, mm -hmm. and I will continue to be a fan of personally and professionally, right? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, when you have someone's phone number and there's a miscommunication or misinformation that's out there, instead of continuing to discuss misinformation, I would prefer to speak to that person directly. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I haven't spoken about it because it's not for public fodder. That's how I'm mm -hmm. operating and my integrity. So I believe that at one point in time, we will have a conversation. And once we have the conversation one-on-one, -on -one, then I will be more than happy to come on Big Ticket Show and Shemessi <laughs> and talk about everything else. <laughs> Mm. Now, according to Miss Candy, that is not the case. Now, if y'all remember, she has talked about this a couple, several times about this issue. She went on House of Aaron and talked about it. And she also did a um interview with the Shade Room. And, of course, Carlos King drama that they have going on or don't have going on, whatever, was brought up. And she did like a whole breakdown. And she said she tried to call you, brother. She tried to call you a couple of times, but you didn't pick up the phone. So you decided one day you want to call her, and she did the same thing. She didn't return your phone call, and she didn't pick up. She probably looked at it and said, oh, hell no. And then <laughs> flipped that bit back over and continued to do what she was doing. This is just too much. And then you went and got in contact with Mama Joyce, allegedly, trying to get some info on the girls. Like, damn. But, it, you know, it's been times where people did biopics on um, celebrities without their knowledge. And they just sometimes go through. But Candy was like, uh-uh, we ain't having that. We ain't having it. So hopefully they can get a biopic from somebody. Hopefully they can all get back. Well, with Latasha, you know, that's, ooh, 
that's like picking the needle out of a haystack. Child, like we ain't even gonna go there. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section below, and I'll see you on the next word on the street. Be breezy.